Hi and welcome. Uh, this past weekend, I the whole week, I had some trouble with uh, Node Package Ma- Manager, NPM, and uh, I spent a lot of time learning the ins and outs. Probably, uh, I should probably know this because I, I code in JavaScript and, um, uh, and Node and React on a daily basis, so I should probably get to know NPM, you would think. And well, I had a bug, the path was all messed up. Um, the, the order, I, I couldn't get Gatsby up and running to just work on my site locally. And it made me realize that I need to learn this a lot better. And so here we are, and I thought I would share my what I learned to help really selfishly to make it stick for me. So I'm going to share it, and I'm going to show you kind of the basic understanding of npm and uh, where to look um, and keep in mind i'm on windows 10 i know i'm sorry um i'm working on you know i gotta save i gotta save up some money i gotta invest on in the mac but so here we are in windows 10 i'm going to show you how to edit your path so you might be trying to globally install uh, um, uh, modules to your your npm but they're not going to the right place and um, you're, you're so in Gatsby there's an automatic boot up and if it can't find what it's looking for it throws an error and it was very very annoying for this whole week and I felt like I accomplished so much when I figured it out but really it was awesome now I can get started but okay I am done rambling let's begin um, Okay, so here we are, desktop, blank, slate. So uh, I'm just going to show you where, so NPM is, if you don't know, is for it stands for Node Package Manager. And in Node, uh, basically, if, or if you have, if you're using Node, you use NPM or um, uh, Yarn is the other one, but I use NPM. And you're, so when you have a software program and you need many things, instead of having all of them possible all of those possible things under wonder one umbrella you just download packages that people put on the internet because they're awesome and or companies they make their own for their own specific purposes and you you just like take those out of the out of the internet i guess and you download them as you need them so it's kind of a rough, or I guess that's like a uh, bird's eye view of what NPM is. Uh, but so, um, usually, or so I'm just going to use Gatsby as an example. Uh, I'm going to download a Gatsby file or a starter file. Uh, so for Gatsby, they recommend to download Gatsby CLI globally, and then for each project, you have your own Gatsby folder within your project. So uh, I am going to um, open my editor. So here we are. Uh, just I'm going to make a simple blog. Um, uh, bu- bu- blog uh, Gatsby blog. So I'm going to type in install npm install, which I can do. Some people do just an I install it doesn't matter and the G which is important it stands for global right so Gatsby CLI and this is what they recommend which it's already installed but if I were to press enter it would install it and say I do press enter it's gonna go to this location if you go to your um, whatever software program then you find your way to uh, users you go to your name if you're, uh, I'm currently under mine. Uh, you might have your own separate name. And then you have to find app data. So it's it'll probably be hidden. So if you go up to view, and you click this, it shows hidden files, right? And there it is. So you want to click, double click on app data. And then for me, I'm going to roaming. And then under roaming, I go down to npm. And so this is, I guess, NPM. And then 
this is, this is the global location. So um, how do I know this? Because on my path. So if I go to search, I'm going to search here. And if I type in ENV, which is environment variables, and I go to environment variables. So for me, Chris, I am admin, so I'm, I can change these. Uh, so this is the path. Um, and this is the path to the path to uh, the manager or NPM on where they will be downloaded to. So that's the file location in which we just went to. Users, Chris, app data, roaming, NPM. And I can edit this. So I can have NPM um, download their modules anywhere, but I think this is the default. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. So it doesn't get confusing for me. And if I forget or something happens, um, I can always go back to this. So here we are. So Chris, app data, roaming, NPM. And so in known modules, you'll see I already have Gatsby CLI. So if I were to, if I didn't have this and I had pressed enter on that CLI, it would have downloaded there. And so that's for the global scope or the, not the scope, uh, the global uh, download. Um, but so something similar is going to happen to the local. So I'm going to download a, um, let's see if I can find it. The, so on, on their website, they have a Gatsby starter uh, blog. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I'm converting my blog into a Gatsby blog. Okay. So if I do Gatsby and I'll do new and then I'll do Chris's blog. I'll just do Chris blog. That's the name. I can make that up. And then they have a link on here. Paste that in. If I press enter, it begins to download. So I will speed up the video as this downloads. All right, and we're back. It's finally done. That took like th two or three minutes. Um, so if it takes a while, don't be worried. Uh, so that I just did that. That was a basic blog um, on, on Gatsby's website. So now on the left hand side, you'll see that I have um, so I have node modules here, right? So these are all the node modules that it installed locally. Now, if you go back to the global, these are my known modules, not as many, um, but these are, these are global. So I, I, uh, I don't want to waste too much space and uh, download um, all of these for global if I'm not going to use them. Right. So apparently Gatsby needed these, needs these. I'm not entirely sure, but so the basics here is, um, so in order to manage, no, I'm sorry. Uh, so those are the known modules. For this project are um, controlled in the package.json file. And so these are the dependencies that I have in this file. So um, to show that if I down, I can uninstall these, I can uninstall Gatsby if I want to only for this particular folder. And this, this only exists, uh, under Chris blog, Chris, Chris dash blog. And so if I uninstall it, I'm not going to uninstall it from here. So there is, I don't have Gatsby installed there, but, um, if I were to, so I'm just going to show an example. So if I do um, npm uninstall Gatsby. So since I don't have the G uh, dash, that means it's going to, it's going to occur locally in this folder that I'm currently in. And so the package.json, you can, so you'll have separate package.json files in multiple folders 
So I'm going to uninstall this right now and see. And it's going to take a while to uninstall. So, um, or not. Okay. That should work, but it is not working. Oh, I know why it's not working. If I do an LS, it's because... I'm not actually in the Chris blog. So let's CD into the Chris blog. How about that? Okay. And now, um, now I have a, uh, now I can do it. Uh, so, but interesting, uh, Chris. Uh, okay. So I had to be in the package that Jason. So if I go now, if I try this and I do uninstall Gatsby, uh, this might take a while. So I will fast forward it uh, until it uninstalls. And we're back. Okay, so the Gatsby. All right, so you may have seen it just disappeared. Uh, so that dependency just got uninstalled from this local package manager. So that is the difference between the global and the local. And um, you can set your local, or I'm, I'm sorry, you can set your global in the environment variable and you can find that env environment variable here you set it there and with that folder location app data roaming npm and then so you want to set it there and so there i they'll be downloaded here in the M npm folder but the known modules themselves will be saved in the in that folder and and then when you run if I go back here so I un uninstall that now I'm going to reinstall it and um, let's see if I can f I'll fast forward this video again and we're back okay finally it now redownloaded so as you can see Gatsby is back in there um, and you can't just you can't just add it um, it, you have to download it and <laughs> uh, so now if I run um, Gatsby and if I run uh, so if we go down here this is a package.json if you go down here these are like the key scripts I guess so um, format that is not there previously um, I'm not sure what that's there for um, that's new. But anyway, so so if I run Gatsby and I run develop, it should work. Uh, it, so it should start it up. But you can also, because it's npm and it's a package uh, dot JSON, you can run npm, I believe it is run develop. If I do that, it will actually call Gatsby develop. So it's the same thing so as you can see here this is npm run develop so npm is actually saying run this script and then so i could also do npm run develop and it'll run this so it's kind of, and i can change start i can make it i can have this say uh, begin now like have it say begin and i can do npm run begin and then it would in turn call this which in turn calls this which in turn calls this or you can just skip all of those and just do Gatsby begin or Gatsby develop but but where's the fun in that you want to be able to call npm run begin all right it's just for the sake I'll change this. I'll change this to start. Save it. Do npm run start, and it will start up my blog uh, starter. Hopefully, come on Windows. Don't fail me now. See, as you can see, I I called npm run develop, which actually ended up calling. No, I, I, I did start, which called npm run develop, 
which called Gatsby develop. So I could I could have just called I could have just put in the command Gatsby develop and it would have done the same thing. But as you can see, my blog is starting up and uh, this is the beginning of my blog. I will begin creating it and I will display it to the world. Actually, I plan on making my own theme, but that's a, it's a different video. So yeah, that's the basic. This is probably way too long of a video for uh, the basic NPM, um, just global versus local. Um, so on that note, um, uh, uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully this helps someone. Uh, I know I, I could have used something similar, a similar explanation last week. Um, but nonetheless, um, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, thanks for watching.